Hello everyone, I'm Greekluk, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 465 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod, where we have been working on making satellites, and it's basically done, except that we need more advanced processing units to make it, and that's fine. It will work at some point in the future. We should go and try and fix uh, advanced processing units though, and that requires more chrome. And really the only thing we need for that is to just add a bunch of beacons and modules to this setup. Problem with that is that we are actually low on modules again for the first time in quite a lot of episodes. And we will not have enough for that. So we, maybe we should fix that first. That sounds to me like a good plan. And that requires more alien processed meat. Which is why we have this here. So let's actually go and see if we can fix that. Meanwhile, let's send the train home. Actually, we didn't really use the train, so maybe we just send it over here. In case we need it for anything. So, we need more puffers. And we probably need more stuff for more puffers, but we'll see. I wanted to try and build some uh, gases puffer farming that do not... Well, that put stuff on belts rather than it just in chests. Because we already have more than 2000 robots over there that are constantly working, I think. So that's not very scalable it feels like well it is but it's pretty exp expensive to scale robot wise but yeah 2700 robots working here And I just want to build something new up here. Might as well just go big if we have the landfill, and we do. So an actual setup that makes this is this one, and it's basically just the same length as these. To go out to this distance. Thereabouts. Let's actually make uh, the setup in here, just so I'm sure about what I'm doing. And to double check about what we've done earlier as well. This gives us 75% of a buffer egg every process, and that is the way to go, right? We can turn blue and reds into more gases if we wanted to, but we're just turning those into meat as well, so I don't think that's very uh, necessary. Let's remove this for now. We know that we need to do it. If we want a hundred of these per second. We need many of these. Actually, that's a lot more than I thought. But we can cover them with a lot more beacons. Actually, how many beacons can we cover each one with? So this one is covered by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, times 2, 16. 
Is this one the same? I guess if... There will be six tiles between each, so that should be the same. Good. We expect a coverage of 16. That's still 800 needed, holy Christ. And that's probably about the amount that we're currently producing, maybe less. And these setup have how many machines? 50? And some of these needs, no, they don't need to breed. It's self-sufficient-ish. Okay. So need beans and, and lots of belts. And two pipes of this, but we're not gonna make everything here in one setup. So maybe we should try scaling it down to something that seems reasonable in one setup. Maybe just a full belt of beans, half a belt of gases, puffers. Or we could just give the gases, puffers back in. That's at least less for the robots to do. This is fine in a pipe still. This will be output. And we're just gonna bring that to a box here, I think. Unless we want belts here that go to breeding and... No, not breeding, hatching and slaughtering. Maybe that would be a good thing. I think that would be a good thing. So we are gonna leave some space. Let's just say that this is our limit of where to build. Let's pin this. I guess we should get closer to the one belt of these beans. Unless we should go to two belts. No, 88 is plenty of machines for us. I'm not missing anything, right? No. We don't want these to have modules. No, we barely save anything and it would be expensive. So no. Can we even go to 88 machines? Yes, we can go out to here, that's no problem. Let's kill some worms while we work on this. So two fluids in as always. One fluid out. Actually, it's not as always. Sometimes we get three fluids in and two out. Okay. Should I maybe do this in the editor first? No, I don't want to. So this is our limit. We need beacons in here. I should probably just mark that with beacons. like that. Two gases in. And one gas out. This can go where we want it, but I don't think we need too much space. We should go there, oh, because of the size of these. Let's just copy something with the correct blueprint. Oh, recipe, I mean. Yes, that one can go in there. And this will go there. Sure. 
Oh, and we need the belt, of course. I already forgot about those. We would like... No, we won't... We will request the first of these. But then we will just output into the same chest and keep it flowing through, so we should never later on have robots coming to the chest with gaseous puffers. It's just the easiest way to scale it and stuff. But let's just say we need at least 10 puffers in there. What cost the... no. We need a filter inserter. Only output gases puffers. And input gases puffers. That's how it needs to be, right? This would then go there, and this would go over here. No, we have more space. Okay. And lastly, that's fine. Right there. We need beans in here. Beans. And we need X out on a belt. And that should be everything, I think. We are gonna have power both down below and up top just to power all the beacons more easily. We request some beans to here, which is pretty close to the train station that delivers them. We could even have another station up here that actually brings it out on belt, but let's do this for now. So we need beans. Let's say enough for 10 sec. Maybe just for 50 seconds. Do we have beans? Yes, we just don't have robots. Okay. Beans will be coming. Q, give us puffer atmosphere. T. You give us nutrient pulp empty. You will fill. Is it acid gas? Think so. Yes. That should be all good. Don't really need these over here. This should almost be it. We need a filter inserter up top as well. And we will have the build out here, I guess. Because we can't go under all of this, I don't think. Put with a... Actually, if we move these down... Good, I think. No, we don't have enough space for everything. Maybe we can fix that. I just want to 
safe space as always, for whatever reason. So this is the space we have to work with. If we want power up here, we need that to be there. Don't need... I think that was a filter insert and that was not needed, obviously. Maybe it wasn't. I want to move these down one time so we can have another one outputting to here. I think. So something like that. Or even that, I guess. Sure. It doesn't really need to be this efficient. I think I like this setup better. And it's less than one half build of output, right? Yes. So we don't even need to balance the build or anything. But I think I'm still going to do it. Just in case we merge a lot of belts. should be everything. Should be able to copy paste this just Well, we need to filter the output of course that I forgot about. We only have one filter here. That's bad if that's the case. Uh, SSX. Yeah, that sucks. As so we have three different types of eggs. Five different types of eggs. Oh. Yeah, of course. Hmm. That's not what I, had, what I had hoped for. So we either make five filter inserters or we blacklist these and then it should be fine. I think. Yes. Good. Hopefully that's good. Those need to be replaced. Are we out of alpha refugiums? Yes, we are. Oh. But we need 88 of these setups. So we should really just get it going, I guess. There's no problem with robot coverage because we don't... Well, yes, there is because we need these to be filled at some point. Dang it. We don't really want to do that, but I guess we will have to... Consider that. Could replace a beacon every now and then. That just feels like the wrong thing to do. We could make a separation every now and then. I'm just gonna go in here for a little bit 
and see how far we can reach with these. gonna have an extra space here because it makes the beacons cover everything equally. So nine of those then a break. Mm. Do it like that. Then we have some charging as well. Maybe too much charging though, they only need to get out here once. Hmm. Don't really waste a lot of space with a setup like this. And that's why there's no real space to fit this in. Is there a way to do that? We have a tile there and a tile there. If we could somehow compact those to four, or a square of four tiles, that would be helpful, but I don't see that happening. I think we'll just skip a beacon every now and then. don't have to do it for every line or anything like that, so it shouldn't be too bad. out here I guess Does this line up with beacons? At the edge of one, right at the edge of one, yes it does. Something like that is pretty doesn't make a lot of trouble beacon wise and I can live with it now against the thingy so there there and there course we actually need some down here as well but we'll fix that I think how many of our refugiums do we have 37 so not even half 
How much land filter we have? Seems like it's enough. Should probably get the space for these as well. Time will tell. It doesn't seem like we're going to fit everything in. Seventy two. How did we have 50 here? In a small amount of space. Oh, they're right up against each other. If we want to go one tile taller, we can go right up against each other as well. But was it 70 something we had? 71. Maybe 72. Yes. So we need another 16. I can live with that, sure. We're getting pretty close here, but honestly, this can just go to hell. Why don't we just get the or bridge the gap here? Might be useful at some point. Eighty-nine, one too many. Okay. I think that's good. We just need to go and grab a lot more stuff. Well, off of refugiums. The rest we should have in the train. in the same network as this. I don't want to risk it, so we'll do that when we come back, I guess. That's everything I know right now. Okay. Do we have construction bots here, by the way? Yes, we do. No, let's just do it manually still, because we don't have coverage of everything anymore. I guess we might actually do at least construction kind of coverage. And let's disable that. That in there, those, those, and these, and some of those. Did I get all my robots with me? Yes, awesome. And we should still make sure that we have the last bit of coverage here. 
Hello. I guess these are coming. Seems like we can do this without a problem. Good. Oh, good. Oh, come on, robot. Thank you. Are the robots just lazy or do we need even more underground pipe and belt? I think the robots are just lazy and they're getting there now. Yeah, good. So we needed puffer refugiums. Four hundred, I guess that's a start. Should we bring some more hatcheries and butcheries as well? Let's do it. Now I don't know if we can actually get the robots out here without charging, if that's going to be a problem. Let's see, I guess. We have robots coming all the way out here at least. Wait, no, they don't, because that's not covered, it's the filter inserters that I see. Give me some gas. Oh, there's disconnects in this. In more places than one. I think the rest is good enough. The robots can make it more than halfway, then they can charge it charge at the end, I guess. That should help a little bit. Did everything get all the way down? Well, there's some missing pipes here still, so But to here at least, I believe everything is good. Now we need some of these down here. I guess we could just put them here for now, in this one case.
buffers are still coming, of course. We have 38,000 buffers. Why are those not being butchered? They are being butchered, it's just too slow. Okay. For now, let's just put these in the chest with a looter. Just to make sure everything keeps running. Then we could beacon this up if we wanted to. I guess I would like to see everything run first. How are we doing with this build? We have plenty of beans at the moment at least. But that's going to not be the case very soon. We should just do this for beans. It's not going to take any time to make and it will just fix a big problem for us. And you'll just be called the same as this. Hopefully we have enough bean production for this, but we'll see. And we should just copy paste the train as well. Set a limit for this station. So they might prefer the top one. Or maybe we should be okay with just one train going to each. Or maybe not. Let's just leave it as it is. If both trains are here, one comes up here. If they're not both here, they both go to the bottom. But I guess that's okay for now. Shouldn't we have made a bigger station though? This is only enough for four of these setups. That's stupid. feels less stupid. Copy this to there. And the same rules apply. Good. this at some point when the beans actually get here. For now it will be like that. Let's actually put them in there for now. So they're in the network. Beams. 
Looking good. Yes, we should get some beacons down. Are these actually optimized placement wise? This would have hit five, this only hits four. This also only hits four. If we did this with five. Five, four, five, four. That's better. Let's redo. Also, didn't I say I wanted to go down to sixty of this? Then we only need seventy nine of these. Can so hit five of these and have that as the initial one. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 18. This one will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 machines hitting it. Only need. Wait. I forgot to save. Enter. 71 machines. Okay, we're getting down there. if we actually make the cut. 71. So right there. I'm blind. Oh, it was over here. There. So, did we want to actually balance the output? I wanted to at least. Shouldn't really get in a situation where we have too many puffers here, right? think so. But we shouldn't ever input any extras either though. How did I get raw gas? No idea. should put some machines in here.
hopefully the zone extensions still work correctly. Mm, this one seems like a waste, but otherwise I don't know if the numbers are good, so let's keep it. Yes, we do. Let's get some speed. Stop that. Are we getting beans all the way down? Yes. balance output. Doesn't have to be perfect, so if I miss a machine, I'm not too worried about it. Or maybe I am too worried, I don't know. I'm just gonna do it as good as I can without spending too much time on it. Is this a turbo transport belt? Yes. Oh, because of this one. Oh, oh my god. Good. We should still have plenty of beams and we shouldn't see the belt run more at more than half speed or something like that. Because we only have half the beacons down. I just want to check that to maybe confirm with myself. That looks correct. Actually, less a lot less than half speed, but they probably all take beats, beans at around the same time. Maybe. We don't didn't have enough modules either. Okay. Let's see if we can fix that. By getting more. Pretty simple, I guess. And then we just need to scale, and then we might need more butchering, but that might also just need more beacons and modules. And maybe some more hatching, I don't know, we'll see. Modules first. We should have at least a hundred more, which isn't a lot. Me. Not even a hundred, yay. It almost feels like old times when we didn't have enough of any of the modules at all. Thank 
to help us? Sure. Science is almost ready. That's awesome. It's not like we're really, really getting anything out of it at the moment, but it's proper still. Right, let's just fill these beacons up with modules first of all, and then if we have any left, we we'll put them towards butchering and stuff. Can we fill all those? Yes. about half of what we needed. That sucks, but it's fine. And of course I put them down here where they won't even hit another row of refugiums. Too bad. Let's have a look. We have how many eggs? Negative eggs, okay. We have how many puffers? 40,000. So we need more butchering. That's difficult without more modules. So I'll steal some modules back again. Because more butchering means more modules. But that's all those here stuff here. And these are all Gas is us. And these are all loads here. Let's start by upgrading those, I guess. Of course, I don't have enough modules to fill those. But down here is fine. This probably needs to be sped up at some point anyway. But do we have any gases powers down here? No. Just gonna speed a lot up around here. Still rolling robots. So that could also be a reason why we don't butcher enough stuff. But these are all working, so I'm not too sure about that. Yes, we could put some more robots in here while transitioning to belt-based stuff. And I guess we could duplicate this setup even without more modules, that should still be a good thing. to start with one setup at a time. Oh, maybe we won't start with one. Let's just keep going, I guess. There's no real reason. 
base robots will do a lot of this stuff anyway. Good. And I just want to double check that we have 71 of these. Yes. And research is done. We don't really have any more to do without space science, it seems. Do we want a nuke? We can also get rid of this. These are needed, so I guess we should work towards that. Sure. It takes some robots to actually fill all of these, but that's fine. All of the bots are still occupied, that makes sense. Should we de decommission some of these down here? Maybe that would be an idea. We can also take some of these low tier modules and put it towards butchering. Though I guess these don't butcher gaseous buffers anyway, but we could make more gaseous buffer butchering. So maybe we need to increase our artificial puffer atmosphere production, but that's for later. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode, so thank you all for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye.